All right, guys. Next up, um, we're going to run through 1989 Topps Baseball. Um, after our uh, little uh, score rookie traded polls, well, this is definitely a letdown, but it's what was next up on the pile. Um, I've got about two or three more videos I'm going to run before the end of the night, but uh, if you didn't see that score video or if it hasn't come out, um, the 98 score rookie traded, we were pulling some fire. Um, for us, for 98 score traded, I looked them up, um, and they were pretty cool, but none of them were worth a lot of money, but still really cool cards, to, I think, for somebody that likes retro junk wax vintage cards, um, just something cool for your collection. Ah, uh, man, 1989 tops, on to it here. Tops and missed the boat in 89, they didn't have Griffey in there, they didn't have Randy Johnson, they didn't have Dion... Um, yeah, then it was so mass produced, and so out there, and we got our gum in there, and Joe Orsalock, we still had Joe Orsalock in there, and our spring training guard, such a, oh my gosh, it was everywhere, and it's still everywhere, Paul Mirabelli, um, you know, Mike Heath, Bob Horner, Joe Corsi, John Shelby, Rock Reigns. Was this the only year he had rock on the card, I wonder? Yeah. Um, that would be a wonder, something to wonder about. But, yeah. Carlos Quintala. Greg Swindell. Gary Carter. Got us a Hall of Famer, Gary Carter, in there. Craig Reynolds. Had a, that card with Craig Reynolds autographed one time. Alan Trammell and Jeff Reardon. Um, yeah, you know, the big three from that year. They end up in the uh, traded set. Well, they were they did get ahead of the times on everybody with the Dion for the traded set because I'm thinking the rest of his, the rest of his other like tops and I mean his, his Don Ross and Fleer were all ninety. <coughs> so um, yeah, Charlie Lee Brandt leads us off in the second video. There, I never realized he was that skinny. It's kind of interesting. Terry Clark, nah, Mickey Hatchick. I always liked that card. I saw a ton of it. Luis Polonia. I always think that's Ricky Henderson when I see it. But it is not Mitch Williams. Is that a, that's not a Mitch Williams rookie. His rookie is an 87. We opened that the other day. Tom Browning. Tom Pagnozzi. Jose Oquindo. Bob Somebody. Junior Ortiz. I always see Junior Ortiz cards, but I can never remember him playing for the Pirates. I remember my Pirates. Hey, Bo Jackson. I like that card. That is a cool card. Be a cool card to get signed. Uh, Dave Inkle. Here he's kind of picky on what he signs, but I think that's a lot of the bow nose stuff. So that's, you know, uh, we got us an Oral Hershiser record breaker on the back, and that pack of gum looks weird, cracked weirdly. Uh, let's see. Can we top three Hall of Famers in this? I saw Ozzy Smith peeking out there. Steve Sachs, Hall of Very Good. Dave Vale, Hall of Cup of Coffee. Kevin Bass, Hall of, eh, decent. Jay Tibbs, Hall of Never Heard of You. But into Santiago, Hall of, um, almost very good. Bear Lions, Hall of, I got some chest hair hanging out there. At least it sure looks like it. Spring Fever, Willie Upshaw, uh, Wade Boggs, there's one Hall of Famer. Tommy John, did Tommy John make the Hall? I think Tommy John made the Hall. Two, Don Robinson, Ozzy Smith, John Swanley, and Will Hershiser. So we got three rookie, three Hall of Famers. Uh, and of course the best is Wade Boggs. There we go, guys. Um, that's 1989 tops. Yeah. Don't dream about these cards like I do sometimes. I don't, I don't, I haven't dreamed about them a long time. When I was a kid, I used to dream about 89 tops. That's so weird. Um, yeah. That's kind of an oddball thing. But this gets added to the pile. And uh, next, we're going to open up some 94 leaf. And then uh, I'll see how much room I have left on my camera. And we might do a huge, massive, multi-pack opening video. I like doing those, because then it's like, boom, boom, rapid fire. What's this? What's this? What's that? What's that? Ah, yeah. All right, guys, have a good night.